All right, hello there. This is Ghost Boy Seven Forty Seven doing commentary today for the full video, and I'm recording over this audio. Well, not audio, but gameplay. And I am going to have fun with this. As you can see, the title of the video is called Fuckboy Ash. Why is he called Fuckboy Ash? It is because he's a fuckboy. His duration for his invisibility, which I think is his third, if I'm not mistaken, only lasts as much time you'd expect for your average male to last in bed. Sadly, that is the case for good old Ash. What's even worse is that he is prime at that. Now, I have my complaints. I have a whole bunch of complaints about a bunch of Warframes, and Ash just happens to be the fuckboy out of all of them. I used to like him. I used to play him a lot when I first started out, when I was like Mastery Rank 12 or something like that. Then I stopped playing him because I realized how annoying and unuseful he is in certain situations. Now, when you're playing as him, <coughs> you can go invisible, you can teleport, you can like do this thing where you use your fourth ability and you basically clone yourself and you run around and kill people. And for his first ability, you can throw Shuriken because he's supposed to be the true definition of a ninja in a game like this. Now, he is what you call, in my way of speaking, just an overall pain in the ass. Now, this kit sounds good, sounds good on paper and all, but um, I have many complaints, many complaints indeed. Now, I wish he, uh, I wish he had like a, a different abilities, like something, something more ninja-like. Like, the invisibility thing is okay, shuriken's okay. Teleportation now, they could, they could make it a little bit better. I think it used to be a little bit more broken when I first had him. You can just damn near teleport anywhere. I don't use it anymore. So, I don't even really use him anymore. So, I don't even know what I'm saying would be completely accurate. But, as you can see in the clip, I'm using him. But, not to his full ability. I'm only testing him out because I haven't touched him in a long time. And he only has, like, four form on him. I want to put more, but he doesn't have a lot of form on him. I just stopped playing him after a while. I just... I don't know. I just didn't like him. I just didn't like him, to be honest. I really didn't like him. Um, also, this is the uh, Gift of the Lotus missions, a special mission. As you can see, this is a different kind of defense that I usually do from the other ones. Um, so it's it's definitely different. And you're going to see in the next clip that is a different spot because there's two spots they put you in. Now... This is the second spot. First spot gave me, um, well, planet, but I'm saying spots just to shorten it. The first, um, first one gave me a gift. It was a reactor. A reactor basically gives you more capacity. I think on your either frames or companions. I really can't remember. <laughs> but I, I definitely, like playing the Gift of the Lotus, the second one gives you a Riven mod now. I like the Riven mod one. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. But, I don't know. Something doesn't feel quite rewarding. I feel like we should get more from it. And I just don't mean, like, buy a challenge or anything like that. I feel like they should give us something like, I don't know, maybe five usable form uh May maybe maybe about a good twenty five plat maybe maybe a little bit more maybe not even that maybe a couple of free slots and maybe maybe just maybe five ribbon mods it wouldn't hurt nobody you pop them open you still gotta pop them open but hey you got five ribbon mods now who doesn't want five ribbon mods come on fucking a man who doesn't want that so. That's what I'm thinking. I think they should give us like five Riven mods. 
is it's not too much to ask. Uh, it's just so unfiltered. I don't even think I'm going to edit this. It's just me recording myself talking. No filters. But, um, I did edit the clip so you can see my logo. Isn't that nice? But I think I might do this more. It's a little bit easier to, a little bit easier just to edit and all that. Um, I also, I think I might play some other games too. Might do some other stuff. Some of them are a little just repetitive for me because I beat them multiple times and it's just sad to the point where I just don't want to play them anymore. So I, I definitely plan on doing a lot more diverse kind of thing with my games. <clears throat> Even though like some of them are pretty interesting, like I can always run back to Warframe and do it, but I'm actually Master Rank 21 and going to be 22 soon in the Master Rank department, just in case you didn't hear me the first time. No bracken rights needed, but <clears throat> I, I'm actually burned out on the game. It's kind of hard to um, to even play with my clansmen sometimes because they're new to it, and I'm I'm just tired of it. I had it for a year. I love it. I love the game. I still want to play it, but I'm just burned out. It's just some things like you expect to happen in a game and it doesn't happen, and it just disappoints you sometimes. Now, not to say that it's a bad game, but there's just things that DE can fix about the game, you know? A lot of things. A lot of things I can point out, you know? And people have made videos about them, too. A bunch of YouTubers who play this game as well. A bunch of them. I just... I just don't see the point of repeating everything they repeat. Like, I'm just... I'm just fucking fed up with, with all the stuff that happens. Well, there's some new things that I've noticed. Of, like, when you... I don't know, maybe it's the servers or not. Or maybe it's just their servers. I'm thinking, like, my connection, my Wi-Fi. But some hosts, they have bad connection. And sometimes when they leave, it has, like, a whole host migration thing. There have been times where I've been sent back to my little orbiter, which is your little spaceship. And... <clears throat> I can't move, like, I'll be frozen, I don't know what's up with that, it's like every update that happens, every new update, it's like they cut something out or something, like, I don't understand how the programming works, maybe they should do more testing before they release it, mm. some good water, but, you know, maybe they should do that, you know, make it, make it more easier, to um, <coughs> bring it out in like in the Nux, blah, bleh, in the next update. I said Nux. This damn Grenier Nux has been traumatizing me. Why do they have so much armor anyway? Like, I have to still figure out what the hell to put on my weapons. Maybe I need more puncture or slash or something. Like, more toxin with electricity so that would be corrosive puncture and slash either way like i just why are they so fucking strong it like it doesn't make any sense like if even for like a nuts that's like rank 20 something like why 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 i just i don't understand i don't fucking understand <laughs> but uh that's besides the point um yeah it's just like all types of little buggy things in the game. Like you'll get frozen. It was just one thing too that used to happen like earlier this year. Um, they used to have this thing where you, if you, if you're in your arsenal and then you go into your menu at the same time, like to go instead of walking to it or sprinting to it, you can like teleport to it. And if you do that when you're in your ship, you freeze. And the thing with the cavats too, like your companions, you would freeze as well. Like you'll just have them running around and they start running in place. Like, I don't, I didn't understand it. They started fucking running in place. Like, I was like, what are you doing? Like, my cavats, my cavat was just like, yo, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. They didn't program me properly. And I said, oh, fuck. That's not good. It's not good at all. But, yeah, yeah you know, and one time he even started dying. I think I was, I think I was doing the Venus mission somewhere. 
I don't know. It was some. It was some mission. It was a corpus mission. Something similar to this. But it was a defense, just like this. It was outside, and I had the poor. I had the poor little guy like just running around. He just got stuck. And he kept on dying. I was like, what the hell? And he just kept getting stuck and dying. And at some point, I think I don't think I let him die, but it was just sad to see. Or I think I died. I died, and I ended up having him come back to life with me. And it was, it was just a pain in the ass. Like, it made me not want to use him. I even had a friend complain about Sentinel, uh, when he used to go on his r wing and shit like that. Like, his Sentinel disappeared. Like, I don't, I don't know, like, completely. It's just fucking weird. But, you know, that's just things that I've experienced and what I've heard and what I saw with my two eyes, too. But, it is, it is just crazy. But overall, uh, fuckboy Ash, yeah. He is a pain in the ass. I really don't like using him sometimes. He's not like Loki, which if I ever get Loki Prime, I'll... Oh, man, I'll fucking go ham. I might become a Loki main. I don't I don't want to be, but I might want to be after I get finished using the Prime version of him, which will be very rare to come across. But maybe not so much in the future. I'm hoping. But, um... Ash is really... It's really interesting when you um, first get your hands on him. When you realize that you need a lot of duration, you need a lot of range, you need a lot of power strength, you need a lot of efficiency. And it's like, he's too needy. He's too fucking needy. He's really the definition of a fuckboy. Like, you'll literally be with him, you think you're having a good old time, and sometime during a during the little little thing you got going on, he just starts mistreating you. You start realizing that you gotta give him more things in order to please him. And before you know it, he's leaving you. He's leaving you. He's disappointing you and you kinda say, Hey, I wanna be in this relationship, but I just can't. I can't with you. It's too much. It's just too much. Anywho, I'm gonna end the video here. Uh like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh you know, just have a great day. Goodbye.